I always remember the first year, nine years ago, being a little nervous. Uncharted territory is what it was. Like any project, you want to refine and make it better. So it, each year it gets better. You know, everyone thinks, well, I don't know if the city does it or Park and Rec, and sit and look and know that I did it, my kids know, and kind of proud to be a part of it. That's for sure. It's my contribution, I guess, so. If you look up at the ceiling up there, those will start taking on a pink hue up there. They're white right now. And that's something that's always stuck with me, too. Austin comes together and we love supporting each other. Everybody has their story. It's the biggest night of the year and for a lot of these kids, they've never played in front of a crowd that big. So it'll be, it'll be fun. It's always fun for me. For a couple of weeks in the winter, the whole town kind of turns pink. This is a small town and we know the stories and we are going to fight. Just represents our town because our town is really big in cancer research. I have a very crafty son and I always thought, huh, I should have him build me a big pink bra. It's kind of the talk of the town. The little kids think it's hilarious. When you hear about fundraisers, when we hear about these silent auctions, and when we hear about, hey, let's go play games and watch the Bruins win, that we're all in. All the funds that we raise for Pink Night go towards cancer research at the Institute, so they're kind of the guests of honor tonight. Austin takes it on, and we say, fight! Fight that big C word. There is no more exciting a night here at Riverside Arena than paint the rink pink. On those jerseys, the names of 100 people, survivors, current battlers, and even those who are, have been lost to cancer. Go out there tonight and play for each other. Play for your loved ones that are battling this disease. Go out there and be great tonight. Right when that puck drops, let's go. Paint the rink pink is annually the biggest game, both in crowd attendance as well as importance, not only on the ice, but to the community of Austin as well. None of this would have happened without nine years ago, Craig Patrick wanting to have the Bruins give back to the community and this wonderful idea of paint the rink pink. Every year they just have built this. We couldn't be more thankful. So God bless you all. Sheriff, Sheriff will drop this one forward. Shot, they score! You work it after two goals. Larkin couldn't quite get there. Here's Larkin, pulls the trigger, he scores! Hugh Larkin with his fourth goal of the week. He's got it now on the left wing, half wall shot, he scores! Jared Christie gets his first goal as a Bruin, breaks the tie, it's 3-2. Right, go, go, go! Christie gets it off the wall, makes a move, tries to struggle, he scores! Jared Christie gets his second goal of the night, he ties! Breakaway, Sheriff at center, comes across the blue line, into the slot, makes a move, shot, he scores! Dante Sheriff with the breakaway, overtime winner on Pete the Ring pick night here in Austin. Bruins win 5-4. We want to make sure we have fun with this. Enjoy this moment. Let's spin it. All of these events have raised about $1.5 million, all for cancer research. We're gonna start low, we're gonna go high. That's the name of the game. Give me a hundred dollar bid where? Who do it now, hundred bid now, hundred bid now. What you're doing here is a gift to yourself, your own families, all of us, because this research is making a difference. Thank you everybody for coming out and supporting Paint the Rink Pink Night. We'll give you the totals here coming up this week. I have no doubt that it's gonna be the best Paint the Rink Pink ever. This is what it's all about.